Hello everyone! The year is coming to the end and very very soon we're going to celebrate the New Year's Eve. And we're going to celebrate it with the big party, lots of friends. So I'm going to make big cake. So right now I'm starting with very simple sponge cake. So I have my eggs here, six eggs, and I'm going to whip it for about 10 minutes. And while the whipping, I'm going to gradually add my sugar. So let's start. Okay, so our eggs are ready. They're beautiful. They're fluffy and they doubled or tripled in size. Beautiful. So now I'm going to sift my flour into my eggs. I'm going to do it in a, not all at once, three times, and each time I'm going to fold flour in our eggs. Okay, I'm done folding in my flour, and I got uh, my ring, and I uh, sprayed the oil on, a, of, on the bottom of my ring, and now I'm going to pour my butter my ring okay that's done and this goes into the oven 356 Fahrenheit for about 30 35 minutes so I am continuing to make my cake while our uh, sponge cake is baking I'm making uh, the second uh, base for the second cake second cake is gonna be a mousse cake so I've got here egg whites and I've got here sugar and this is hazelnut flour and I made it myself it's basically you just need a blender to blend uh, your mats okay and regular flour and a little bit of salt not too much okay we are mixing that very well. I'm gonna whip my egg whites. Alright, that's beautiful. Our egg whites are all whipped. So now I'm adding all dry ingredients into my egg whites. And holding it gently. Okay, so that's our dough, very nice, light, light and fluffy. And I melted my uh, butter, it shouldn't be hot. And so I'm adding my butter, but first I add a little bit of my dough in here and I mix it with butter and then it will be easier to mix it with the rest of the dough. And our dough is ready. So same thing. Uh, it goes into the oven 356 Fahrenheit for 10-15 minutes. My ring. Transferring my dough there. And we're gonna bake it. Uh, so I'm continuing to make our cakes. Both our cakes, mousse cake and the sponge cake are gonna be with apple and caramel and it's going to be really really yummy so um but the recipe is a little bit different so first i'm going to make uh apples for our sponge cake and then i'm going to make apples for our mousse cake so um for our mousse cakes for apples we need apple cider i don't have apple cider right now i don't have an apple cider right now so i have Tea, lemon and ginger tea and it's it tastes really good so I think it's gonna work great with our apples so I'm starting right now uh, with apples for our sponge cake for both cake I'm gonna use cinnamon ginger dry ginger and cardamom and also I have zest of lemon and orange and I will be dividing it between uh, our apples 
Okay, let's start. And I melted butter and I made it just a little bit of sugar. Three teaspoons. And I'm going to caramelize my apple just a little bit. So we need them to get a little bit soft. But not pureed. Adding half of my lemon zest. Half of my orange zest. Adding cinnamon, ginger, and cardamom. Now on a very low temperature. I'm gonna simmer my apple. Oh, it smells amazing. So I'm gonna simmer my apples a little bit so they become a little bit soft. For our mousse cakes, same thing. I'm adding my apples and I'm adding my ginger tea or apple cider. Now we are going to boil it and simmer it for a few minutes uh, so our apples uh, will get a little bit softer. I've got my apples and I soaked my gelatin before I started working with apples and I'm adding gelatin to the hot apple sauce. And I covered it with plastic wrap, so it will be easier to get uh, out of the form later. So now we have to cool it down a little bit and it's going to the freeze freezer. We make a toffee, 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 toffee for our mousse cake. So everything it's pretty much straightforward. We are going to make dry caramel right now. What it means dry caramel? That I'm going to melt my sugar without adding water. Uh, so wait till it becomes amber color, like dark amber color. Okay, while our sugar was melting, I boiled my cream. Hopefully I'm adding my cream to the caramel. I'm adding butter. I'm adding my fleur de sel. And before I soak my gelatin, and I'm adding gelatin in there too. my mold again I covered it with the plastic wrap so it will be easier to take it off later when it's cooled down hello um, so today is uh, second day of making my New Year's Eve cakes so uh, right now I am continue to make my mousse cake so what I did yesterday for both cake I baked I covered them with the plastic wrap and put them in the fridge so before I make any mousse cake, I soak gelatin first. So my gelatin is soaked. So right now, um, this is my cake and I'm gonna put toffee. Uh, as you can see, it's very soft as toffee should be uh, on top of my cake. I covered my ring with the plastic wrap and inside I uh, covered a lined with the acetate so it will be much easier to take our mousse when it's ready so and on the bottom I put my cake and my toffee that's done and right now I'm gonna make mousse 
So I'm going to boil my milk in the cinnamon for flavor because we have uh, cinnamon in our apples. Okay, so my cinnamon milk is all boiled, all very hot and I pour it over my white chocolate. Also put there my soaked gelatin. Okay, that's all good. So we let it stand for a little while, and then mixing it all together. It's uh, this is a base for our mousse, and now we have to wait till it all cool down. And while we're waiting for our milk to cool down, uh, we're I'm gonna work with our beautiful sponge cake. So I cut it in two layers. If you make it in a small diameter, uh, you can cut it in three layers. So what I did, I made some uh, cream based on the cream cheese. I'm not gonna show it right now how to make it. It's really easy. You soften your uh, cream cheese, work it with the mixer, and add little by little uh, whipping cream. And you see the consistency you like, and you stop, and, the, the, and add a little bit of sugar or sugar, powdered sugar. And this is, your cream is ready. So, and here I added a little bit of um, dried, freeze dried berries. ice cream. Very, very soft pig. You don't need uh, to whip more. So, and I'm gonna gradually add my uh, warm milk in there. Put my mousse, half of my mousse in there. And prepare mold with uh, uh, our um, cake and toffee on the bottom. I do now I put it in a freezer for 10 minutes so we can put our insert and it's not gonna dive right to the bottom okay so uh, my mousse been in a freezer for 10 minutes and now it's not as liquidy and I put our beautiful insert that we made yesterday with apples uh, lemon and orange zest Spices, beautiful. And I press just a little bit to our mousse and I cover, cover it with the rest of our mousse. The mousse cake is all done, ready. Uh, and it goes to the freezer, stays there overnight, and tomorrow I'm gonna put them together and I'm gonna decorate them. 